So all you need to do to get started with your light diffuser is an LED, some sheets and some pillowcases, and zip ties or rubber bands, and an old or brand new IKEA lamp post. Now as you can see here, I've already got the bend in it, and the bend that I need. And you're also going to need to use some tape. I used red tape, but you can use any color you want. So since I'm using a broken lamp post, I'm going to be trying to fix this wiggle here with some hot glue. So after I put a thick coat of glue on, I wanted it to then prevent the seal from cracking out, so I put another layer on the outside. After that I fit the bulb in and twisted it in, just to make sure that the hot glue was going to make it stick. Voila! After that I then put the shade back on. This is a two part shade. And right here I'm trying to plug it in. Once you get that angle on it, there is a shorter extension on that cord. So you kind of have to uh, plug it in up high momentarily. Now with this project, I'm using a 1070 lumens rated light bulb, LED of course. Success! It still works. Now my sets of sheets came prepackaged with uh, one flat sheet, one fitted sheet, and two king pillowcases. So I just took the king pillowcase, wrapped it around the light, and since it has its own cone, I just wrapped it around the back of the thing. Then I put zip ties around the back to hold it in place, or you could use rubber bands. So with the rest of the sheets, I decided to make a sort of light box with it. All you need to do with this part is put up a couple tacks and hang it up on the wall. To get the wrinkles out, I didn't have time to just throw it in the dryer, so I just used my handy dandy iron. So a note to everybody that does use an iron, don't leave water in the iron or else it will spill everywhere. And as you can see here, I was trying to pull it and trying to get the sheet more flat because I don't have a ironing board large enough to try to get this ironed out and it's already starting to flatten it out so as you can see it looks a lot better than having a normal incandescent light I mean if you look at this it just doesn't do its job now if you pay attention to the shadows here see the shadows they're a little bit softer and uh, you can do a lot more with maybe adding a visor that goes out a little bit more and uh, filter over that, change it into a color changing one. Uh, and I look really white with this, but in post production, it'll look way better because you can just do a lot more with the raw footage with the white balance and everything. Hope you guys liked it. Uh, I might be doing more of these DIY tutorials if it keeps raining here in the Pacific Northwest. Don't forget to hit that like button and thanks for watching.